So I'm standing here with uh, Jane Madrick, CEO of Wetlands International, and um, today is World Water Day. Um, can you maybe tell us why World Water Day is important? Well, water is really the, the hidden element in the landscape that's underlying a lot of the issues that the world's trying to solve, such as reducing poverty and tackling climate change. Both are profoundly affected by the status of water. So World Water Day is great because it really puts a spotlight on all the issues of water management that we need to solve. Great. So um, what role do wetlands have in this? Well, wetlands are really the connectors in the landscape. That's where water comes from. Wetlands are the biggest stores of water in the landscape. And different kinds of wetlands from the mountains to the sea regulate the water. That means that it affects the water quantity and quality for all the different users of water in the landscape. So the condition of wetlands is crucial to whether we have enough water of the right quality in the right places. Uh, so we, we are really investing and encouraging others to invest in improving the status of wetlands uh, for the water values. And um, what role will wetlands and water play in achieving the SDGs? Well, it's great that many of the sustainable development goals now recognise that it will be necessary to bring back wetlands in the landscape to provide water for all, that's SDG 6, but also the condition of wetlands is underlying our ability to uh, counteract floods and droughts, for example. So there's now new incentives to restore and better manage wetlands for these kind of reasons. Also for food production um, and water and food security overall. So could you give a few examples of the work that Wetlands International is doing? Yes, in this uh, vein, uh, we're for example working in drylands. It sounds strange, but uh, the drylands of Africa, the Sahelian zone, is suffering from desertification. And we're promoting blue lifelines in the desert. And this means really sustaining and restoring the, the natural floodplains that millions of people depend on for their livelihoods as, as well as nature. Making sure that these floodplains are not diminished through the development of the Sahel. Um, another example, different one, uh, concerns the coastal erosion uh, that is threatening vulnerable communities all over the world. So in Latin America, Southeast Asia and uh, west coast of Africa, for example, we're working to help communities, governments and private sector restore mangroves as a natural buffer to coastal erosion and impact from storms. So this is another form of water security.